Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn about how hydroelectric power plant works and also we will try to understand its layout with advantages, disadvantages and applications. Introduction People are using the energy of flowing water from thousands of years and today it is the most powerful source of clean, renewable and most affordable energy. America has been using this energy for over a hundred years from now and what makes this source renewable is the water. Water evaporates back to the cloud and falls back to the earth as a rain completing the water cycle and making it a noble source of energy to be used over and over again. It holds the large share in the worldwide electricity production from renewable source of energy. Principle of Hydroelectric Power Plant Hydroelectric power plant is an electricity producing plant in which water is essential fuel. The potential energy of water is being converted into kinetic energy and the kinetic energy is further converted into mechanical energy. This mechanical energy then converted into electric energy. This is the basic principle of hydroelectric power plant. Construction of hydroelectric power plant Reservoir A reservoir is provided to store water during rainy season and supply the same in dry season. A large amount of water is collected during rainy season in a reservoir behind a dam. The water from reservoir is used to run the hydraulic turbine. Dam Dam is connected across the river to store water. Therefore, it acts as a water reservoir. It is constructed with RCC. It provides necessary potential energy to nozzle of turbine. Top surface of dam is called head raise. Intake Intake allows the water to flow from reservoir to turbine. Penstock Penstock is also called as pipe. It is made up of steel or concrete. The water stored at the dam or reservoir is being released by control gates. The water starts moving to the turbine. Surge tank It is an additional and essential component which is used to accumulate water which is in pipe. When we want to close the turbine working or you can say it is used to avoid pipe burst. Turbine Hydraulic turbine converts hydraulic energy into mechanical energy. It consists of a wheel called as runner provided with a number of curved veins on its periphery. A guided apparatus to drive the flow of water at inlet of a turbine in specific direction. A hydraulic water turbine can be set horizontal or vertical. The factor considered are cost, type of turbine, building space, plant layout, etc. Draft tube Draft tube is a mechanical component which is used for enlarging the area of pipe for sending maximum fluid to the other side. Tail rest Tail rest carries water away from the plant. Hence, the water is sent to the river. Generator When the turbine bucket starts rotating, the turbine shaft also rotates. The motors are attached to turbine shaft which is also rotating and generator is attached to them which generates electricity. Powerhouse A powerhouse consists of hydraulic and electric equipments where the water energy is converted into electrical energy. Usually, the powerhouse is located underground whenever possible. Transformer The transformer is attached 
to the generator. The electricity generated is now controlled by the transformer. The work of transformer is to set up or set down the voltage. Transmission line. The transmission line carries power from the power unit or transformer and transfers or supplies from one source to another. It is made up of conductor. Working of hydroelectric power plant. Water from reservoir flows through penstock to hydraulic turbine and during the passage its potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. This high velocity jet of water strikes the hydraulic turbine vanes where its kinetic energy is converted into mechanical energy. In the turbine blades an electric motor is attached to the turbine shaft. So rotation of turbine blades also rotates the turbine shaft which also rotates the electric motor. Hence the kinetic energy into mechanical energy and further it is converted into electrical energy. The energy generated is sent to the powerhouse, transformer and transmission line. And the remaining water which is rotating the turbine blades is now sent to the river via tail race. India's hydro potential. As of 30 April 2017, India has 7th position all over the world in generating power from water. India's potential of generating electricity is estimated as 84,000 megawatt at 60% of load factor. The project of hydropower that holds a great power potential but yet not developed due to opposition of some local peoples on Godavari, Mahanadi, Nagavali and Namrata river basin. India's largest electricity producing hydropower plant is on Koina river in Maharashtra having a capacity of producing 1920 megawatts of electricity. Bhagarnagar dam in India is the world's highest straight gravity dam and biggest of all dams in India. Site selection of hydroelectric power plant. The factors which includes for site selection of hydroelectric power plant are environmental effect. Environmental effect is one of the major problem which should be not occurred so that place can be chosen which is free from hazard and chemical effects. The water availability. In hydropower plant, water is an essential fuel. Water availability is needed to plant for the rotating turbine blades and generating electricity. Water storage. After the availability of water, we must store the water in a dam. So, we can constantly provide water to the turbine and with high pressure energy as I explained. Head of water. To increase the flow of water from dam to turbine blade. Site accessibility. It is also one of the most important factor. The power generated from the plant that can be utilized easily. It should have transportation facilities be road or train. Distance from the load center. If there is more distance between power plant to the load center then transmission cable is used more and hence cost will be increased. Type of plant of the site. The power plant needs more space and it should be kept in mind that land cost must be cheap. Water pollution. Water pollution is one of the major factor. The plant should be free from water pollution. If there is water pollution, then chances of loss of equipment is must. Geological investigation. Plant construction should be strong and stable. This construction can withstand natural calamities like thunderstorm and earthquake. 
एडवांटेजेस ऑफ हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक पावर प्लांट लो रनिंग कॉस्ट दो कैपिटल कॉस्ट ऑफ हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक पावर प्लांट इज कंपेरेटिवली हाई बट इट्स ऑपरेशन कॉस्ट इज वेरी लेस ड्यू टू दिस द कॉस्ट ऑफ पावर जनरेशन पर यूनिट इज लो शॉर्ट स्टार्टिंग एंड स्टॉपिंग टाइम इट टेक्स फ्यू मिनट्स टू रन एंड सिंक्रोनाइज द प्लांट देर फोर द स्टार्टिंग टाइम रिक्वायर्ड इज वेरी लेस ऑल्सो स्टॉपिंग ऑफ दीज प्लांट takes very short time as compared to steam or nuclear power plant no waste disposal problem these plants have no waste disposal problems such as ash disposal problem of steam power plant as well as nuclear waste disposal problem of nuclear power plant also atmosphere is not polluted as no smoke is produced in the plant larger life of plants the plant has comparatively a long life 100 to 125 years as against 20 to 45 years of thermal power plant high efficiency these plants have high efficiency over wide range of loads as compared to other power plants and most important is that the plant efficiency does not change with age less supervision cost these plants required very less supervision staff therefore cost of supervision is less high reliability these plants are highly reliable as compared to other power plants disadvantages of hydroelectric power plant environmental consequences environmental consequences which are related to interruption nature due to damming of water changed water flow and the construction of roads and power lines required large space hydroelectric power plant required construction of dams which required large space high initial cost it required high budget for construction of dam and installation of turbine transmission is complicated supplement of electricity in cities area or residential area cost will be high for this power plant depends on weather hydro power is totally depends upon the weather condition ecological impact wildlife habitat can undergo flooding when hydroelectric plants are built required high quality materials dam should be constructed with high quality material dam breakage can lead massive flooding which cause huge impact on environment maintenance of hydroelectric power plant maintenance is based on scheduled inspection of plant and equipments its purpose is to minimize breakdown and excessive depreciation the main parts of hydroelectric power plant using turbine are inspected and maintained on quarterly half yearly and yearly basis monthly maintenance monthly maintenance are carried out for the following parts turbine cover parts such as drainage hole leakage unit servo motor connection turbine shaft and cover oil pump its auxiliaries and ejector cabinet guide vane mechanism and operating rings of turbine quarterly maintenance quarterly maintenance is carried out in case of governor oil system ejector cabinet servo motor and feedback system half yearly maintenance half yearly maintenance is carried out in gauges guide vanes and guide bearings governor mechanism and pipe connected to pump yearly maintenance yearly maintenance is carried out in case of turbine auxiliaries such as turbine guide bearings oil pressure tank and turbine instruments scroll casing runner with cone guide vanes draft tube and emergency slide valve